Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Opera Rollercoast Tycoon 2. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can quickly make a nice looking building in Open Rollercoast Tycoon 2. Now, be aware, um, I will be using, uh, I will be disabling clearance checks for this uh, tutorial. So, uh, you should probably do the same when you build your buildings. The buildings that I'm going to show you, uh, well, not everything can be done uh, without the clearance checks uh, enabled. Okay, um, now I often see people uh, when they need to make a building, they will uh, start off so somewhat like, uh, like this. So with a path into the building and then um, they will make walls, somewhat like this. Now this is the kind of building I often see. So use the same material all around. Um, there's grass on the inside, um, and the roof looks uh, uninteresting. And sometimes I see it done like this, but uh, yeah, even still here, the walls, they look very thin. So um, let's, uh, let's uh, show you how I would uh, make a building. Now what I usually do first is uh, just take this uh, thin strip of wool, um, just use any color. Um, well, for this example, I will just use blue, but you can uh, use anything. You could even go for a rusty uh, look. Um, really, a lot of stuff is uh, possible. Just uh, be creative and don't use the same thing for all your buildings. So let's, uh, yeah, let's take go with a blue uh, strip of of wall here. Let's do it uh, all around the building for now. Okay, um, you, maybe you could you noticed that I put it here on not here on the inside but on the outside uh, edge like this, and uh, behind that let's uh, make some uh, windows. Uh, when you make buildings, you'll want to have a lot of windows, uh, especially on the front. If you look to any building on the front, um, you'll usually see a ton of uh, windows. Uh, windows add a lot of character to your buildings, so uh, you should definitely uh, have a lot of those. Now for the entrance, um, yeah, let's just use this color because it kind of has the same color as this. Let's also give it uh, some blue here. Now with the tile inspector, you can now actually simply uh, open these doors. So I just selected this door. And then you can select the animation frame. And if you look here, you can see the door is open. Um, well, buildings usually don't have stone floors here on the inside, just like this uh, path here. So what I usually do is, uh, uh, mostly I only do it for the tiles that are visible from the outside. It's already less now because uh, we used the door here and we didn't leave it open. But yeah, you could, uh, for example, uh, the material I use most is just uh, wood, so uh, we can have a wooden uh, floor. You can also use uh, base blocks to make it look like a carpet. And if we select this path, we can make it invisible with corrupt elements. And then the guests can also walk uh, inside. Now, when you look inside, um, you can see the wooden floor and not grass. Actually, also uh, where you have windows here, then you should also make sure that uh, people cannot see grass uh, in the building through the windows. Oh yeah, you can uh, recolor the land uh, inside your buildings. Uh, yeah, I uh, recommend just giving it a, a wooden floor or something. You know, most people won't actually look inside, so usually I don't uh, take the time to decorate the buildings on the inside. For the sides of the building, you don't have to use the same material as the as the front. Uh, oops, that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> um, so yeah, it really depends on uh, where the paths are and if people would actually be able to uh, to see the sides uh, and the back of the building. So um, yeah, I will just uh, continue this pattern like this. Now for the second floor, um, you can just keep uh, repeating the same pattern that you used for the ground floor, but you don't really have to. For example, if you have a shop on the bottom floor, 
then it might be worth uh, actually using glass windows. Now, what I like to use is, uh, let's just quickly remove this uh, here. For example, one thing you could do is, uh, is putting these arches. Um, they're not really the correct color now, but this is just an example. The white might work. Also, don't be afraid to use uh, different materials for the first floor and for the second floor. So let's put some uh, glass here. So put it behind the arch. And the white is probably a bit too white, but uh, I think you get the idea. You could put some uh, objects behind these uh, this window these windows here. Or you could uh, even uh, just take a footpath like this and let's uh, put some benches on it so let's go for this and we copy this in the tile inspector and we can simply just paste them here now this is uh, something that would look nice for a little uh, restaurant Anyway, this is not the right color. This color doesn't mix well with this uh, with this brick pattern. I think this might actually also work. Anyway, um, let's go back to uh, to brick, what we used in the beginning. Now let's add another one of these. You might actually be able to see a little gap here um, because this wall is more to the back. If you have a, a little gap here, um, it's not that visible, but you can always put a, a piece of wall on the back side and that the gap is no longer uh, there. Okay, now uh, the roof of a building. Um, I often see people struggle with that uh, as well. Basically, um, yeah, the roofs usually look nicer if you on if on the front of the building you actually have uh, something like uh, like this. So the wall of the roof usually looks better if it's to the front. Now, what looks even better if your building has a roof has an uh, interesting shape that isn't simply a, a rectangle or a square. So what I like to use is uh, let's do like this. So I delete these uh, roof pieces and the ones over here. Then I place one here, one here, the same here. And then we put them here. And then we finish up like this. Now the order in which you place these uh, overlapping roofs is important, but you can always uh, switch it up with the tile inspector. So let's put a little uh, fence here. Anyway, this is just a, a simple building made in uh, less than five minutes, I think. <laughs> but yeah, you cannot just make them out of brick. You can use uh, any material, really. So uh, let's uh, work on a little uh, wooden building here. So again, I'll make a little trim here. Now again, let's make some uh, make some windows. You can also put them higher if you want; uh, doesn't really matter. But it usually looks nice to have something uh, of a different material here at the bottom. Now, if you're going to leave this uh, open. Uh, you don't want your walls to look as thin as they do now, so 
I usually either place some walls on the inside or I decorate it here with some of these uh, poles. This uh, usually uh, helps a lot. So let's also put some uh, wooden post fences like this. So yeah, it really helps to, uh, to frame your uh, doors with some uh, other uh, scenery items. Okay, this already looks a lot uh, nicer, I think. And, oh well, yeah, we could just... Uh, we could just lower the floor here, make more wooden planks, or uh, you could make some inside uh, walls. could do like this. I think it also helps if you make the materials a bit darker than the outside. Of course, it also depends in, on the angle in which you are looking, how that uh, looks. I think uh, this red wall uh, works quite fine here. So yeah, we just uh, repeat this pattern. Now, let's pretend this building is here uh, on, the, on the side with nothing next to it. So then on the side, you can also make windows. It's really uh, up to you. Now here, um, where there's a new floor, I like to uh, use, uh, well, I, I like to make that visible that there's a new floor. So what you could do is, for example, let's take this one. Oops, I meant to make it white, like that. But yeah, this might be a little bit too much uh, wood since we're already using a wooden wooden planks here so let's uh, use a different material but yeah really get you should get uh, creative with this I think it's worth experimenting with different uh, materials and until you get one that you uh, like now let's uh, make a another floor here on top because why not remember to use uh, lots of windows okay I think we can oops Let's use uh, the same one here again. Or we could uh, do the rusty one. Okay, and then uh, we can simply put a wooden roof on top. We can do it the same as uh, this building. Uh, so let's uh, see if this is the right order. Yes. Okay, now when you have placed these wooden roofs, you'll probably want the sides uh, to be solid. So you can simply place uh, some of these roofs. Let's take the colorable version, this one. Let's make it uh, red. Or uh, You could even use a different color here if you want. So as you can see, you can simply place these uh, under here. Now, on these uh, tiles, um, You'll have to use some uh, different tricks. Let's quickly freeze the weather. So here you can see the roof underneath is not visible. So then you'll have to do some reordering with the tile inspector. Let's first quickly uh, finish this up. Um, yeah, you could put a normal uh, wall here, but I like to put a little fence here to just make it look like there's a, like there's a window here. Something like that. Okay, um, here uh, we want this, uh, yeah, this solid roof to be visible. So I just selected this, uh, this, uh, well, one of these roofs, and I moved them around a bit. Usually, you can get the right one by just uh, fiddling uh, with it. So I'll just do the same thing that worked for me uh, here. I just take the second one and I move it up. And now you can see it. Uh, it looks, uh, I think it looks quite uh, good from this angle. But yeah, again, just a very uh, simple building. Just made in a very short time. But I link, think it looks, uh, it looks quite good. Uh, again, remember to actually put a floor here where you can see through the windows because right now you can uh, see grass here. 
for the front of your building, uh, really try to uh, decorate it. Uh, just put some gardens. Of course, it really depends on the on the setting in which you uh, in which you create this uh, building. Now, for these roofs, um, these are not the only roofs you can use. Um, personally, I quite like these uh, log cabin uh, roof pieces they're from one of the expansions uh, yeah these tricks like these are not really uh, possible with these roofs because uh, yeah, you cannot really uh, overlap them properly but I think they still make uh, quite nice uh, roofs and there's also the dark age uh, roofs and they actually have these uh, these inverted corner pieces which you can use so that uh, makes it even uh, easier to uh, make uh, interesting roofs but yeah definitely uh, interesting roofs is really what uh, makes buildings uh, 10 times uh, nicer rather than when you're using just a rectangular box now something else you could do uh, along the edge of your roofs is uh, well, right now I'm just using these uh, shogi uh, walls, but uh, yeah, you can put these alongside the edge of your uh, roofs to make them look nicer. You could even uh, slant them to make them follow the the roof. Let's move this one up a bit. There we go. That's also something you can uh, you can try out. I use this a lot in my uh, mega park. Uh, I think it uh, made the wooden buildings look uh, look a lot nicer. Now, for the entrance of the buildings, um, sometimes you might want to have a wider path inside your building. Uh, so let's uh, pretend this is our path. And let's say you want to have a wide entrance. So I'll, uh, I'll quickly uh, create the bottom of a building now. Okay, so the path is uh, invisible now here. I'll just leave this uh, last bit. Um, so yeah, let's uh, place some uh, windows. We can also use these. Um, these are pretty uh, basic. Let's go for a white building here. Uh, but yeah, you can really choose any color you like for this. Let's go with uh, this brownish uh, color here now. Now, something I like to do when I want a wide entrance is just do like this. Make sure you place these poles after you've made the path, because they can really mess up uh, making of paths. And, for example, you could place uh, some of these wooden post fences here. Then with the tile inspector, we can angle them and make them a little bit lower. And let's put something in front like this. Let's uh, put some poles right next to the wall so the wall looks a little bit thicker. I think here uh, you already have a really nice uh, entrance for your uh, for your building. And let's go for uh, the rusty look here. Now for the second floor we could use uh, some different windows if we want. Um, Here's a combination that often works well, so let's use the medieval windows. And let's put some pirate walls behind them. I think that's a great uh, combination that uh, really works uh, well for, uh, for a lot of buildings. So I will just quickly make another floor on top. 
because why not? So yeah, and, uh, if you want to add even more uh, spice to it, uh, one thing you could do is uh, make some flower uh, pots. Or, uh... So here I'm using barrels, but you can also use the broken wheels. I've seen some people use those as well. And then you can simply put some uh, of these gardens on top. But yeah, it's uh, just really simple tricks, but uh, I think they work quite well. Now one thing you can also do, for example, you have a gong here. Uh, you can place them in, on top of uh, or above uh, an entrance to make it look like a banner. I've even uh, seen someone use uh, two cannons uh, for that. Uh, let's see. I don't know if this is <laughs> how he did it, I don't really remember. But uh, yeah, he uh, actually used them as, uh, let's say, the, the roof of a door or the overhang. I don't, I'm not sure what it's called. No, um, I'm not making all the, ro the walls for this, this house, but I think you uh, see what I'm trying to uh, point out here. Now, instead of these uh, wooden walls, you can also use the jungle walls if you want to go for a little bit of a roof with a darker color. Uh, you can also use uh, shops and stalls for this. So, for example, the t-shirt stall uh, often works uh, quite well. I'm not sure why I cannot place this here. Maybe it's support limits. But uh, I think one that works even better here is the pizza stall. Remember to close the stalls if you use them for uh, track texture. Now I've seen some people use uh, use the pizza stall uh, to make some great uh, buildings. You could even uh, put the middle ones a little bit higher if you like that. But then of course you should also change the, the roof here to, uh, to accommodate that. Now I don't really know how I would uh, further finish this roof, but uh, I'm sure I would find something uh, to go with it. Now, of course, these buildings are all five wide, but really, you can easily just uh, vary the width of your uh, buildings. So, uh, yeah, I will just make uh, one extra, just uh, because I like to, like to uh, do it. So, uh, let's make an extra path here. Again, you, this is not the only way you can make your buildings. Uh, this is just an example. Uh, and of course, these are all really quick examples. So uh, if you put more time into it, I'm sure your buildings will look uh, much better than uh, this. This is just uh, the quick and dirty way. So let's uh, pretend we have a little uh, coffee shop here. So let's put some uh, glass. Here, let's go for a red building again. Okay, so I will make a little door here. This might be a little bit too much contrast. Uh, actually, I'll first build the path, so it's easier for us. So, um, let's uh, put some seats here. Actually, I want uh, this color. So let's copy and paste this path here to right in front. Um, let's lower down the floor and let's make the paths invisible. Now you could make a little uh, coffee shop in here like this. 
Let's uh, give the building a floor. I think it will look uh, nice and cozy like this. Of course, I'm not going to, going to build the back wall now, because uh, we don't have to. But of course, if you put this in an actual park, then it's probably a good idea to actually make the back wall. But uh, this is just a tutorial, so I'm not going to bother. So let's make a little, make a floor here. Actually, I'm not sure if these colors uh, match very well. But yeah, you can always uh, change the colors around if you don't like them. Alright, and then for the second floor, let's again go with the medieval windows. By the way, if you, have, uh, if you are making a shop, it's uh, always a good idea to put a little sign here. So, for example, this would be a coffee shop, so we just put coffee here. Put uh, the sign in the colors that you like. And again, for the roofs, um, yeah, I will just use a wooden roof here. And then we'll want to uh, fill in this gap. So let's use this color. Okay, and then here we'll move up the second one. There we go, another uh, small building uh, completed. Now I'm not really sure about the colors. Uh, but I think this uh, this works well enough. Now, some, something else you could do uh, to make your building stand out a little bit more is so take some poles and uh, put them on the outside here. So, for example, this uh, building here has these brown uh, stripes. So, here, I will just add some brown poles on the outside. And that should uh, frame it a bit more nicely. Now let's also give it a door, probably needs a door. And let's open the door. Alright, there we have it, a little uh, coffee shop here. Now again, don't forget to decorate the street in front of it. Um, you could put some benches here in front, for example. Just to, um, some lamps usually work uh, quite well. But yeah, this is uh, really some basic techniques to make uh, simple buildings that look nice. Alright, um, I think that's uh, enough for this episode. Um, I really hope uh, you will uh, use these tricks and expand on these tricks to uh, create your own buildings that look uh, wonderful. So yeah, don't forget, uh, it looks nice if you add some different stuff here on the bottom. Um, it's nice when you can see the different uh, floors. Uh, it usually works well to decorate the yeah to use a bit of a different material between the floors use lots of windows uh, try to give the roofs interesting shapes um, yeah don't forget to give the building a floor on the inside uh, make sure that the walls don't look uh, really thin but really f try to frame them with some poles uh, yeah, decorate the entrances of the of the buildings. Uh, try to make them uh, look inviting. Uh, oh, by the way, here's another little trick. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have just so many tricks. Uh, for example, um, if we don't have these wooden post fences here, then something else you can do here is just put uh, one of these canvas roofs here. 
And I think they're also a great way to uh, decorate the entrance of a building like that. That's also, uh, I think that's also a nice way to, uh, to make it look uh, inviting. And if you, uh, if we make this open like this, one thing you could also do is uh, put river rapids here instead. And that way you can make a bit of an arch. Of course, we'll have to hide the supports here. But yeah, now the now the building has sort of an arch here. It's just another trick you can use. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, I could just uh, keep going on and on, adding little details to this building. But I think uh, this uh, should be enough for you to uh, to play around with. And uh, yeah, um, I just hope you uh, you expand on these tricks and. Uh, find other tricks uh, to use for your buildings. And uh, yeah, I hope you can uh, develop a style with this uh, for buildings that look uh, good. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I hope it's uh, useful for you. And I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.